sumac. Um, you can use it uh, to make lemonade. Many people say um, it's also called uh, lady lemonade. You just put them in the cold water, um, soak them for um, a few hours. If you like, you can soak them in the overnight oats. You can see the little seed there. Or this maybe you can see better. There are spices. You can make some chicken dishes out of this. Taste a little tangy and sour. We cut about two to three clusters of sumac from each tree so that we wouldn't hurt the plants. Now we have some fresh sumac. Let's see how to cook them. To make the drink is pretty simple. Just place the sumac cluster in a large bowl. Soak them in water that can totally cover them. Three to four hours are usually enough to infuse the flavor, but I like mine strong, so I left it for eight hours. Drink the tea through a tea towel or a cheesecloth. This step helps to remove any impurity in your drink. It is my sumac lemonade. It was quite sour, so I add some agave syrup. It is done. Now let's make some sumac spice. I know many people say do not harvest sumac after rain or should not rinse them before use. It is because rinsing can dilute the sourness in the red froth. But if you also know how many insects and worms actually are living inside, you may change your mind. At least I do. Snap off all the small branches and discard the thick stems. Next, place the fluffy seeds including the soft branches in the food processor. Then sift the sumac through a drainer to separate the stone seeds and the red fruits. This process is time consuming, but it for sure makes me appreciate sumac more. After it dries thoroughly in room temperature and it is ready to use. You can keep it in an airtight container for up to a year. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.